dear? I'm looking for Madame Brunet. That's me. What can I do for you? I'm Zoe. You better come with me, love. Just pop out some fags for me, will you? It may be nothing, Kat. Just a delay. Oh, come off it, Faith. Zoe's missed too scared. Something's gone wrong. We don't know that. No, of course we don't know, but it's obvious, isn't it? <sighs> Sorry. That's all right. That's what I'm here for. I just hope there hasn't been another bloody fiasco, that's all. What news of Julian? I gather his battalion is somewhere near Bari. Heavy fighting, apparently. The Germans are definitely on the run. Oh. I had a letter from him yesterday, as a matter of fact. To my astonishment, he seems to be thriving on it. Shouldn't he be? Well, it's just he's so young. He's no younger than most of them. I suppose so. I still think of him as that earnest little boy I used to bat a ball with. Hard to think of him as part of the war. You don't want to be disturbed. Excuse me, could I possibly have a light? I know this is breaking all the rules, but I recognize you from one of our training courses at the Manor. Colette, Area 7. I need to get a message through to London urgently. Can I offer you one? Don't smoke it, for God's sake. How long have you known Jürgen? About three months. I met him in the cafe where I work. A lot of German boys go there off duty. <laughs> I suppose he sort of picked me up, really. <laughs> but he was terribly shy at first. Is it wise, do you think? What? To have a German boyfriend. Oh, no, not you two. What's the harm? There is a war going on. And life must go on. Honestly, Christine. Jürgen's really sweet to me. On his last leave, he bought me a new pair of shoes. I'll show you. Just think. A new pair of shoes. Look, aren't they beautiful? And he gets me extra ration cards. Does he love you? Yes. In his own way. And you? Christine, you sound just like my mother. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm being nosy, y'all. Shut my big mouth. I tell you what, I'll take you to lunch. How about your cafe? I'd like to see where you work. Cat, <laughs> you keep going. 
Well, then, mind if I join you? Of course not. Yeah. Thanks. It's uh, good to see you. Oh, how are you feeling? Pretty well, thanks. Raring to go, actually. That's good. Uh, when do you think they'll let you out of here? Damn soon, I hope. I can't wait to get back. <laughs> how is everybody? Fine. Uh, we've lost Gaspar, I'm afraid. Well, he's safe, but he had to be invalided out. Good. Well, uh, if you get short, I can... <laughs> you are better, aren't you? I'll bear it in mind. <laughs> well, as you know, I've, I've um, had a bad time, but I think I'm through the worst of it. And, um, Liz is coping all right? Doing a damn fine job, actually. Did you ever have any suspicions that the circuit might have been penetrated? Christine, mm -hmm. can I ask you something? Of course. How did my mother speak about me? She seemed very proud of you. <laughs> proud of me? That's a joke. Why? Well, she was proud of Madeline, all right. I was just a duty. You know, her little piece of Christian charity. That's not true. She'd hardly let on to you, would she? You know, I always felt I was on the outside. I was never really one of her family. I think you're being rather hard on Marguerite. After all, she didn't have to adopt you, did she? My mother didn't have to abandon me, did she? But she did. Event. There's something. Jürgen! Evie! <laughs> you remember Christine, don't you? Indeed, yes. Of course. Well, my young friend, you're doing rather well. Enjoying the company of two charming ladies. <laughs> this is an old friend of my father's, Sturmbandführer Foller. Yvette Hello. and Christine. May I join you, Mademoiselle? Of course. Thank you. Waiter! Champagne, I think. Hmm? <laughs> Safe. Thank God for that. managed to get you some new papers. Oh, thank God, I hardly dared go out. You're a chambermaid in Albonne, Natalie Volpair. I have to cut my hair. And look at those glasses. <laughs> You'll just have to get used to men hardly giving you a second glance. Thanks, Solange, you're a pal. All part of the service. How's Yvette? She's fine. Have you told her? No, not yet. You haven't said anything to anyone? Of course not. I gave you my word, Solange. We'll send three new pianos, also new sabotage instructor Victor. Please arrange drop. P.S. Bloody good to know you're still there.
times. Mm. Smoking. Oh, well, they all do it out here, despite what they say at HQ. Well, uh, what's your cover? Well, I've been promoted from peasant farmer. I'm now Victor Bichelot, salesman and agricultural spare parts. Victor? Well, Victor, um, you ought to know that I've established new security arrangements for liaising with each other. Liz, are you still angry with me? No, I... But, Kit, out here, I'm Colette. You're Victor. Let's stick to the rules, OK? <laughs> well, that's a nice idea. A little late, though, isn't it? So Victor will wreck at the factory and report back and we can start the detailed planning. Well, I hope he's better at looking after himself than Andre was. I assure you he's an extremely experienced agent. We must also start uh, sabotage training for your men. Well, I don't think we should rush things. What do you mean? Well, we've got plenty of time. No, but now that Victor's here, why delay? Well, I think we should be sure first, so that nothing can go wrong. Well, of course we will. But I don't understand. What are you trying to say, Joseph? Your best bet is to go for the mountain blocks on these machine tools. Why these ones? Well, they make the precision parts. Destroy them, and the whole production line comes to a halt. How easily can they be replaced? They have to come from Germany. Four weeks. Four weeks minimum, and that's just getting them here. Andre Tisnak, my chief foreman, been with me 20 years. Todd from the Chateau Air plant at Clermont. Monsieur. All right, I'll tell you what's worrying me. One of my couriers was in Toulouse last week. And? He happened to see that Solange woman of yours. And? She was having lunch with two German officers. One of them was the local commander of the SD. Hello. 
Hello. You asked about Luke Ferrier. How can I help you? I'm Zoe. Monsieur Artaud. I'm an associate of Monsieur Sylvester. Well, can't you read? It's strictly off limits here. Oh, I'm on an official visit from the Chartois plant. Didn't they tell you? Chartois, first I've heard about it. I must ask you to show me your papers. Oh, I assure you, you only have to call up Monsieur Sylvester. Now, that's as might be. Ah, Mr. Rotton, there you are. Sorry, George. He's with me. That was a little close for comfort. You ought to be more careful. This is risky for me too, you know. What is this, anyway? Uh, nothing. Nothing but an auxiliary generator. Come. No! Bastards! Murdering bastards! I'm sorry, Luke. My mother. How did she look when you saw her at the station? Calm. She was a very brave woman, Luke. Had they tortured her? I don't know. It didn't look like it. She could have told them nothing of any use anyway. They must have known that. So how did you manage to escape? Your grandfather helped me. Without him and your mother, I would have been caught too. They saved my life. You must be very important. I'm sorry. I didn't... No, I understand how you feel. <laughs> well, I'd better be on my way. No. No, stay. You don't have to go. It'll soon be curfew anyway. Of course, I forgot. Thank you for coming to tell me. You got the radio for Zoe? Yes. Is she right? As far as I know, she's been collecting the messages. You've not seen her? No, not for a few days. We liaised with a dead letter drop. I thought that was the rule. How well do you know Toulouse, Solange? Not very. Johnny and I used to pass through it from time to time before the war. I've been back there once, but you do know about that. You haven't got any friends there, have you? No. Why? We're going to have to widen our circuit to include Toulouse in the lead up to the liberation, and what we're really going to need is some detailed knowledge of the area. It's changed a lot since I was there, but I'm game to try. Good, good. Messages for the next sketch.
For urgent attention, suspicions of Solange now intolerable. Concealed unauthorized visit to Toulouse were cited in company of German officers. Request her immediate recall. Hello, Zoe. Fine. Your new transmitter. Oh, thanks. Have you found a new safe house? Yes, I'm fixed up now. Is it all right? Yes, it looks okay. What's the matter, Zoe? Nothing. It's the message, isn't it? Yeah, I see. You know I'm not allowed to oh, show Zoe, I've not. seen them often enough before. Well, you it's about me, isn't it? It's harsh. Oh, oh, Christ. <laughs> so that was, that's what Colette was on about. Did you tell her I'd been to Toulouse? No, I haven't told her so. Then I how did she it. find out? Is it true? What? That you were seen with German officers. Oh, of course it's bloody true. Yvette has got herself a boyfriend in the Wehrmacht. Christ, what a mess. What are you going to do? Well, obviously, the sooner I'm honest with Yvette, the better. You're crazy! Why don't you tell Colette the truth? <laughs> She'd have me shot! I have no intention of giving up Yvette now. the hand, then the whole arm is warm. I never wear gloves, personally. I find them too restricting. Ah, touché. Excuse me. Where are you going? To where one can escape from men. I can come to a vet. Then we can talk about them behind their backs. <laughs> That's a good idea. We may not be here when you get back, my dear. We might not be back. <laughs> Who is Yvette's companion, Jürgen? Just a friend? I'm sure I've seen her somewhere before. In your dreams, perhaps. Is she local? It looks as if you're banking on it. No. This is somewhere else. What the hell? Hmm? Why don't you come to the Chateau next weekend? You mean come and stay? Why not? There's plenty of room. What about Madame de Tremont? Oh, she won't mind. Anyway, she's not going to be there. All oh, right, yes. It'll be nice to get out of town. Good. What will you tell Jürgen? Truth, of course. He won't mind. He can't. He's on duty all weekend anyway. Good. Couldn't be better then. <laughs> Here, please. <laughs> Come on, my dear. Smile. <laughs> Just one more. <laughs> Urgent attention. Stop. Suspicions of Solange now intolerable. Stop. Oh, no.
meaning of this? It was pretty damn clear that Sylvester wasn't telling me the whole truth. What do you mean? Well, that's an auxiliary generator, that's for sure. Far too much security for that. Really? It's the main transformer for the whole plant. Of course it is. My God, it's good to have somebody here who knows what they're talking about. I'm glad you missed me. So... Monsieur Sylvestre has been playing this along, has he? No wonder the communists lump the capitalists with the Germans. He'll get what he deserves. Does this mean we're going to need more people? Probably, yes. The place is pretty well guarded. Pity. I was hoping we could keep this small. Well, I'm only talking about two, three extra men. Joseph will be able to manage that. No, it's not that. You've got to know, I think Solange is a security risk. It's possible she's been compromised by the Germans. You can't be serious. I've asked London for guidance, but in the meantime, she must be told nothing about this operation. Absolutely nothing. So we have to make a decision now. It's his birthday next week. Would have been 21. Look, Cad, why don't you go home? Take a few days off. Home? Not much for me there, Faith, I'm afraid. Anyway, I can't. Too much on. Well, I can look after things here. Thanks. First if I get stuck into something. I never thought it would hurt so much, you know. It's like a physical pain. Only I can't find it anywhere. I know, Cad. I know. No, you don't. No. No, I don't. Look, I'm sorry, but we do have to make a decision about Solange. Zoe's next transmission is in half an hour. What? Cad. Ah, oh, yes. Don't you think Colette might be getting just a bit paranoid? I mean, for Christ's sake, Solange's husband was shot by the bloody Germans. She was also seen socialising with German officers outside of Area 7, too. Well, maybe she had to be there for some reason. Then in that case, why didn't she report it to Colette? I don't know. Sorry, don't seem to be able to keep my mind on anything at the moment. Look, I think we should trust Colette's judgment. All right. You do as you think best. Well, thank you, Kit. That was a remarkably good omelette. You have a remarkably good judgment. <laughs> Last glass. It'll be care for you in a minute. You know, you don't have to get me drunk. I'm quite happy to stay the night if you're desperate. Kit, I am deadly serious. No ties. I know. I'm aware of the dangers, too. So, um, 
About tomorrow, if... If... No, 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 no. It's all right. What on earth did you think I was trying to do? Strictly by the rules. But don't you remember what they taught us at the manor? The accepted au revoir between the sexes is the standard peck on each cheek. Look, I was right to come out here. I'm sorting out this area. It's my one responsibility and it makes all the mess worthwhile. And your feelings for me are part of the mess? Yes. My God. Do you know what I see in you? Me in Normandy last year. Look, Kit, there has to be somebody out here who cares more about the operation than about anybody or anything oh, else. Don't make excuses. You obviously don't feel the same way about me. If you were caught tomorrow and I thought that I couldn't continue to do my job properly, I... You'd have me sent back immediately. Yes. God, you've changed. Well, that should help. I'm convinced. I only hope it's worth it. So do I. Because I'll never ask you again. No. You make a good leader. We'll make a good team. They won't know what hit them. Oh, God, curfew. Christ, are you going to be all right? If you worry about me, I'll worry about you, so don't. Thank you. Except I look a little bit the worse for wear. <laughs> they say the camera never lies. <laughs> <laughs> this is very pretty, your friend. Christine, yes. Mm. I couldn't have a copy, could I? Of course, if you like. I tell you what, if you give me the negatives, I'll get them done in our own labs on the firm and get some copies run off for the others. Mm. Shh. Mm. <laughs> Busy as usual, I see. I want some enlargements. It's urgent. Ah, I see you have a report for me. Well, I'd better have a look, hadn't I? Well, off you go. Yes, apparently they want to recall you for retraining as a wireless operator. You're joking. No, the message came through yesterday. Well, it'll mean a short break in England. What do you think? I think it stinks. I'm doing a job here, for God's sake. Yes, I know, but they are desperately short of good pianists at the moment, and you've been out here for a while. You deserve a break. You're a damn good courier. I don't want to lose you. But you wouldn't fight to keep me. That's not fair. London had the final say. You mean I have no choice? It's an order. When do I go? 
but there's no hurry. It's going to take a couple of days to arrange the flight to get you out. some other place. Um, Arbon. Bon. Did you bring the money? Here. You're doing rather well out of this, aren't you? Well, we all have to get down, don't we? When we're in the Did you find the girl? The one who escaped from the ferrier's place? Don't worry. We'll catch her some more later. Well, it was her I was after, you know. Not Marie and Leon. Hmm? Marie was... All right. Where is she now? That's no concern of yours now, I doubt. Saturday. About ten. There's a bus leaving on the hour. I wish you weren't going. Oh, but you're working. Well, only during the day. It's only the one night I'm away. It's Saturday night. Don't get great, baby. You'll stay at Christine's place, will you? She's got a chateau. A chateau? Mm. She works there as a nanny. Where is it? <laughs> Somewhere on the Monte Arbon Road. I don't know. Anywhere much as you can, Nosy. I'd just like to know where you are, that's all. Oh, you know, you're really rather sweet for a German boy, that is. <laughs> <laughs> she must die. That's all we do with collaborators. Of course. Let me do it, Luke. You? Why not? I owe it to them. Can you use a gun? Of course I can. I've probably had a damn sight more weapons training than you have. I believe you. Are you sure you want to do this?
lucky, Christine. Oh, she's adorable. Well, sometimes. Well, if you get fed up with her, you can give her to me. That's a deal. I'm so glad you came. So There's something I have to tell you. What's that? You better sit down. I'm going to be leaving soon. Leaving the chateau? No. Leaving France. Maybe as early as next week. But how? Why? Because I'm going back to England. England? I don't understand. One of the reasons I came to France was to find you. I traced Father Giraud. Through him I met Marguerite. And she found your address in Toulouse. You see, I'm not Christine Rousset. Who are you then? I'm your mother. What? I'm English. My real name is Vivian Ashton. Years before the war, I worked in Paris where I met your father. He left me before you were born. And Father Giraud arranged to have you adopted. I don't believe you. I swear to you, I'm telling the truth. I want you to come back to England. It's possible I can get you out. How oh, dare you? If you really are my mother, you have a damn nerve. You think after all these years you can just walk back into my life when you can't? Do you hear me? If I don't want you, I hate you. Don't ever, ever. Come near me again.
Thank you.